Hello guys, today I'm answering another question from you guys. It's about CSV import or Excel import and how to check for duplicate records in a most efficient way. So here's the question. Rizwan found out that there's a method first or create in Laravel Eloquent. So he's doing for each and then first or create, which is okay. But each first or create actually makes two queries. First to find the record and then maybe create if the record isn't found. So how to optimize that and instead have fewer queries to the database. Let's take a look at an example. So I have recreated the same scenario in my local database, 10,000 records of users, default user table of Laravel, and then I have a CSV file exported previously from another database, but with the same structure, user ID, name, email, and all of those fields. And I will try to import this CSV, which is 300 records, into that database table of 10,000 records. And the most straightforward way is with first or create. So here's the code for my controller. In this case, I'm not using any Laravel Excel or any other packages. It's just good old CSV methods by PHP like fgetCSV, but that's not the point. The point is this one. So for each offline or while line, we're checking the first user of email by email. And then if it's not found, then we create that user with name, password, and the same email. That's a cool one-liner, first or create in Eloquent, instead of doing user first, if not exist, then create. So that's cool. But let's look how many queries it actually calls in the database. So here's my demo project with users list, and I have two import forms, and we choose the first one, import, upload, and see how many queries. So we have 594 queries. I remind you there were 300 records, so it should have been 600 queries for each of the row there should be select and insert. So maybe some emails are duplicated because they are seeded with faker. In this case, there are six emails probably found in the database, so no insert statements for them. But anyway, for each of the row, at least one query, possibly two which takes more than half a second on 300 records. In case of 1000 records in the CSV or more, that time would blow up. And I will show you two ways how we could improve that. In my opinion, maybe you have other ideas, then shoot in the comments if I miss something. So I will show you a slight improvement and then a big improvement. So a slight improvement would be something like this. Import2 is another method within the same controller, which does almost the same thing. So for each while of file, just instead of doing first or create, we do just create, checking the email with already prefetched array. So we have one query to get all the emails of all the users into array, and we select only the emails, which means we don't download all the table, only the emails, because that is our unique identifier. And then we check. If the line two, which is email, is not in that array, then we insert the user. So in this case, we should have fewer queries. Let's try it out. So we use the second form for the second controller method. And what do we have here? 299 queries. So it's not 594, it's 299. So there is only one select query for all the users and then 298 insert queries. Probably two emails are also found in the database. I've actually reseeded the database behind the scenes to make it unique. So it's 2x less queries than we had previously, which is cool, right? But then we have another problem. First problem, it still takes half a second. So for every record, it still takes an insert statement. And if you have thousand records in your CSV, then that time would bump up still. And then this number, 10 megabytes of memory usage. It's not a lot, but still this array, select email from users. If you have 10,000 users, it's 10 megabytes. If you had more users, then that array could be potentially huge that may be okay or maybe not depending on your situation. So I will show you another way to make it even better. So as we have noticed, the problem is that this query is being run a lot of times. So for every record, wouldn't it be cool that we could do something like user create and then users, like all the users, the array. In Laravel, you cannot pass the array of records to the create, but you can do that with insert. And this is exactly what we will do. So let's create users array, for example, let's call it users array, which is empty by default. And if we have that condition met, then instead of doing user create here, we will do users array, new record with those parameters. So at this point, we don't work with the database at all, we just populate the array. And then at the end, we would do user insert users array. 
it would fire one insert query with a lot of data, with a whole list. The problem here, however, is that insert is not an eloquent statement. It's database query builder statement, which means it will not automatically do some eloquent things like timestamps, for example. So in this array, we do need to pass created at and updated at. Otherwise, that would be null in the database. So created at will be now and updated at would be now as well. And that now we will define before the while somewhere here now would be carbon now to date time string like this. Let's try it out now. Okay, using the same second form, but updated, upload, and we have two queries. In total, two queries. Select for email, and then as you can see, huge, huge insert. And it takes only six milliseconds, and in total, we have 120 milliseconds, which is 0.1 of a second, not 0.5. And that's for 300 records. If you have more records in the CSV, the time will not bump by that much because it's still one insert statement. So this would be probably my number one way how to deal with the bulk inserts in Laravel in this case. What is your opinion? What is your experience? Maybe with other numbers, with maybe bigger databases or something like that, you found out a better way share in the comments and let's discuss what would you do differently in this case and by the way if you want to generate full admin panel with csv import working in our quick admin panel kind of a related topic we have a module called csv import so if you go to modules list here's csv import which you can attach to any table which would get a button csv import then you would be able to match the fields and process the import so you can try it at quickadminpanel.com that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos